Hello, and welcome to the Dave Verdan Show. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Cross Country Head Coach Dave Verdan. And Coach, you didn't race this past weekend, but obviously you got a week of training in. Um, how did that go, you know, to get another week without a race and just focus on your training? Yeah, so it was another great week of training. I mean, we set up our schedule um, thinking about that, where we would be able to, to kind of back off a little bit for a race and then have a hard week the next week after. And, and last week, I would say, was probably our last kind of really hard week of the season. Yeah. Now we got to start thinking about performing well at all those races coming up yeah and um speaking of this race coming up um first of the program you head out to california to uh pomona pitzer to that invitational uh new experience for the team um racing a little bit of altitude facing some of the top teams from the west region racing against teams that obviously you don't normally get the chance to race against mm -hmm. um What's the team's mindset? Are they excited for this trip, and are they ready to go? Yeah, they're excited. I mean, the big thing for us is to get out of region and race some of those teams in the West region, and um, we'll have the opportunity to race against a few of them. And then just it's going to be a great team bonding experience yeah. as well. I mean, we, we go out Thursday afternoon and, and come back really early on Monday, so it's, yeah. it's going to be a, a fun trip. Yeah. In terms of, you know, building the program and in terms of, you know, trying to get regional and national recognition, do you think this helps to take the teams to another region of the country? Obviously, the men's team has been regionally ranked this year, and with the strong performance, you probably will open up some eyes on the national level. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's the plan, um, um, and we're, we're fortunate enough to be able to do that with, with um, just – um, just being able to go to a, a meet like that. So yeah. it's really exciting. I mean, like I said, we get to compete against, I think, three or four of the top teams in, in the West region. So if we yeah. go out there and do well, it could definitely benefit us us and our region later in the season. Yeah, absolutely. And really, you know, obviously we're looking, there's only, you know, about two weeks, you know, race Saturday morning, about two weeks out from the MAC championship. This is really the last big test before the MAC championship. How does that get you ready to, you know, race against top competition and at, you know, a little bit of an altitude? Yeah, so again, just a, another competitive race and just to get, I mean, just, again, for, I'm going to have them all go out and actually, I mean, race hard. I mean, yeah. it's it's been, I think I told you early on in the season, it was like, oh, we're going to race three miles of this race. We'll yeah. race two miles of this race. And now this is the second time that they really get to, to really push themselves yeah. and see what they're capable of. And, and just, I mean, workout-wise, um, the fitness is coming around for everybody. It's really exciting to see the progress as, um, for everybody as the season's been going. Yeah, and then just heading into this final two, what are you kind of looking for? Obviously, to race hard the whole race, but kind of what are you looking for, you know, time-wise, I mean, you know, performance-wise, just to really, you know, build momentum going into the conference championship? Yeah, so the big thing, I mean, I'm hoping a couple people will step up and kind of surprise me a little bit, yeah. but um, just for them to get used to, especially on the men's side, getting that two through five or six runners to, to finish closer together. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we, we want that gap to get down to less than 30 seconds. Like, we're okay with Langston being far out ahead, right. but then we need that two through five to be, be really tight together. And the same thing with the women. Like, they'll have Kelly out there, and we really need that same thing with the two through five on the women's side. Yeah, because obviously, you know, the, you know, a lot of times, especially in the conference championship, comes down to not – who finished first or second, but who has the best, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh place finisher. Exactly, yeah. It's how tight you get that group in. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck and safe travels heading out to California this week. And um, we'll talk to you at some point next week. But um, for Dave Dan, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Dan Show. Thanks.